Hello ladies and gentlemen, everything that's you know outside of it. I'm Sophia and welcome back to a new video. Obviously we're just going to do an easy whatever in February and then a quick March TBR. I did read a lot in February. February was a really really good reading month. I read in total 12 books and I DNF'd one. Um, I'm not going to talk a lot about the book that I DNF'd but I do put those in my Goodreads reading goals because I put time and effort in it and I tried. The first book I read was The Soulmate Equation, and I listened to this as an audiobook because I'd recently gotten another subscription to another audiobook um, site, and I had been meaning to pick this up for like a while now, and I just saw it on the on the app, and I was just like, I'll just read it. But I think if I had to decide now, I think I'd just give it like a three and a half, three point seven five, because I did really enjoy it and I really liked the characters. Um, in the beginning, I was just a bit confused. I liked it, I was intrigued, especially towards the end, I was really like, oh my god, now, now I really need to keep listening. Then I read A Million Kisses in Your Lifetime, and I ate this up, I have a reading vlog on it. Um, I did, I did annotate this bad boy, um, and I did really, really like it. I have been, because basically, um, after I read it, I was like, oh, I think I'm gonna give it like a 4.75, or like something like that, because I'm not sure. Um, and I haven't given a book a five stars in a long time, so I feel a bit shy to give a book five stars because I don't really know what it entails anymore. Um, but I have been thinking about these characters in this book, in this world, the entire time ever since I finished it, and I feel like that is enough. I don't like to reread books, but I feel like I would want to reread this. So I think I am going to give it five stars. First five star of 2023, guys. Hopefully more to come because I really need more five stars. In the beginning I felt a bit off because there's some like comments that felt a bit wrong or a bit sexist or a bit like I don't know if that sits right with me but through the character development I like saw I don't know the character development just made up for it to be really honest but I can definitely understand why some people would not like this book at all but this is so up my alley that yeah and I don't really have to say much about the lollipop scene I'm one of the people that did enjoy reading it because there's a bit of a division there but me, I liked it. Even though this is a chunk of a book, I'm really happy that I actually got through it because this is giant. I think it's like 500, yeah, it was like 520 pages or something. And that's the longest book I've read in a while. And then I read Birthday Kisses on my Kindle, which is kind of like, it's basically just like a smut novella for um, about like the two main characters in the series. Um, really simple, I think it was like 50 pages I spent through it, but I just really wanted more like Ren and Crew content, so the couple from the story, because I couldn't live any longer without. Then I read Loath to Love You, so this is, this is like a collection of Ali Hazelwood's um, novellas. So you have Underworld Roof, Stuck With You and Below Zero, and I read them in that order as well because that's the way they're in the book. This is my reading vlog with, with no purpose because I just decided to film me reading for a while. Um, so if you want to check that out you can um but yeah so i did put um all of these three separately on my goodreads so i'm also going to be separately talking about them but i just wanted to show you that i do have this little bad boy so first i read under one roof and out of the three stories this one was i think in the middle because i was a bit conflicted because in the beginning it was like enemies to lovers, like rivals, like he, she moves in with him, but he's totally not digging it and they just don't get along. But they solved that like really quickly. I know it's a novella, but compared to the other ones, they solved like their issues really quickly. And then I was kind of like, oh. And then it was still really cute and I really enjoyed it because they still had like some awkwardness between them, obviously. But I just feel like it could be dragged out a little longer. Then I read Stuck With You and I think this is my favorite just because this one had the most intensity and had the most tea. Um, ew, I hate that I said that. But yeah, it had like the most drama going on and, and it also had like a really good reason to why they don't like each other and why they haven't spoken in so long. And um, all of the three novellas have like a little time switch or they either have a flash forward or they just have like two timelines that like eventually at the end like meet. But um, I like this one the most. I kind of, I, I did forget which one has which, but this one I like the most because I'm not a big fan of timeline thingies because they just annoy me sometimes. And then Below Zero, um, this one had me a bit, I was a bit confused in the beginning just in general what the fuck was going on because there was a lot of like NASA talk and I i don't know anything about that. And then so basically in all of these novellas there is a smut scene and when there was in the smut scene they started to, like he started calling her things that like are on Mars and that threw me off a little. It was funny 
but it definitely wasn't like, ooh, I'm gonna write this down. This is what I want. No. Out of all three, I definitely like stuck with you the most. And I think in ratings, I'm gonna give Unknown Roof, okay, 3.5, 3.75, 3.5. This is the book I didn't have to selfish, Chantal Tessier. I have read books by her before, like novellas, like small novellas. And this is like a series um, of like 100 page, 150 page ones. And I started, I got like 20, 30 pages in, and then I was so sick of it. I just didn't, I never picked it up again. I was never like intrigued to continue that. So I didn't. Then the other book that I read was Never Lie by Frida McFadden. So this is the gal that also wrote The Housemaid, which has been very, very popular. But um, I had not read that one yet and I did have it on my Kindle, but um, I started this as an audiobook while I was getting ready, I think. And I had it on my Kindle, so I continued to read it on my Kindle and I like this one so much. I love the twist at the end. Like it wasn't like a crazy twist where it was like five star crazy twist, like The Silent Patient. That will, I will always compare everything to that even if that's bad. I really, really like that because my babe, I am a sucker for psychology thrillers, like psychological thrillers. If it's not psychological, I don't want it. So, but this had just like a really crazy twist at the end and I really liked it. And I'm gonna give it like 4.5 stars because it's, yeah, as I said, not like five star worthy, but it's definitely up there. I will be continuing to read her books because there's so many on Kindle Unlimited and there's so many on my audiobook service. So I'm gonna be eating those up. And then I read, this is a series, so I'm just gonna do it together, Glitch and Flip. So this is like, this is also kind of like a smut novella series. These were both around 200 pages. I ate these up. I ate these up in a day. Um, Cause I decided Monday, like I'm just gonna, you know, I have off. So I was like, I'm just gonna relax. I'm just gonna read. Um, and I saw Glitch on like TikTok. So I was like, oh, I'll just, you know, check it out. And I really liked it because even though it was like a smart novella and you could tell from the beginning that it was going to be a smart novella, I I really liked the storyline. I really liked it. Like, I was enjoying this. Like, I would want more of this world because I just really like the characters. So, obviously, the first book is about Glitch. And then the second book, Flip, is about Glitch's sister. And uh, I actually liked that one more. That was just, like, a bit more story and a bit more plot going on. And there were a bit more difficulties and I loved it so i think i'm gonna give glitch a 3.75 and flip a four star i am genuinely gonna give that four star just because i i don't know it was so comforting and i just loved the characters and i just it was such a cute world and then i also i also started this kind of as an audiobook and then moved on to my kindle one by one again by frida mcfadden this was also again like a thriller this one i found not as good as the other one the ending, it was it was unsatisfying for me. I'm not going to obviously tell you what the ending was, but basically, so like, it had the ending and it was just going to end like that and I was fine with it. And then there was like this little twist at the end and I was like, honestly, that was unnecessary because now I'm unsatisfied. It genuinely unsatisfied me and then I was like, that was not really necessary because I would have liked it a lot more if that little twist in the end was not there. I don't know, maybe people liked that twist that it was like a little bit like, ooh, but I was like, it's not necessary. It's just, it's not necessary. I don't, I don't need it. Um, I still liked it. I think I'm gonna just give it like three stars. It was easy. It was quick. I liked it, but it was nothing Too crazy and some of the characters were really annoying. Then I again read a smart series. This I'm sorry I was so bored. So I was like honestly and I didn't feel like reading like a 500 page book So I was like honestly I want something short something quick something spicy So, um, I read scream for us and melt for us So there is like a proper book in the middle, but I can't be fucked up with that to be really honest yeah, so Scream for Us is like a Halloween themed and Melt for Us is Christmas themed. You can obviously see by the cover. It was interesting and um, these were not good, especially not the second one. The second one, there were lines that I highlighted just because they were genuinely so funny that I had to laugh out loud and just so I could show my boyfriend later because it was so funny. I don't know why. I just, I laughed. I, I had to laugh because I just didn't know what to do with myself. But yeah, so I think I'm gonna, honestly, Scream for Us was okay. I think I'm gonna give that 2.5 stars and Melt for Us 2. That was honestly, out of all of these smut novellas I have read, and at this point, it's been quite a lot. This one was not, it was not great. So those were all the books that I read in February. I know I went through them quite quickly, but honestly, it's a lot. So I don't really have the time to go in detail. But obviously, it's also still March TBR this video, so don't worry, there's still more content. Um, so it's gonna be a really short one though, because it's all really self-explanatory. 
I want to finish the Twister series. How many months has this been on my TBR is the question. I think literally like five at this point. But I keep wanting to, you know, finish it and film a video on it and have a little reading vlog for you guys. Um, and then I set the bar too high and then I can't finish it. And then I don't even want to start it because then it's gonna, all my videos are gonna be like interlinked and it's gonna be weird and I'm gonna get confused while editing. So then I wait and then I don't have enough time. Um, but now I've said to myself that this is the month that I'm actually gonna do it. So, um, don't take my word, but <laughs> you'll probably get a video on this, um, this month because I do really want to read it. I don't know what, like, I, okay, the size of these books is what's stopping me and that I have to read all three. But yeah, um, guys, pray for me in the comments that I will actually get to this this month because for some reason, even though my holiday is ending tomorrow, I already have two tests next week, so. So I want to read Daisy Jones and the Six. I did just recently buy this while I was in England, so you can also expect a book haul. I don't actually know what this is about. I only know it's like a rock band or something, and they're like, like in the 70s, and it's like told in like interviews, I think. Which I think could be really, really interesting, and I feel like you could fly through that. But I'm gonna do, if you've been following me for longer, I used to do like these things that were like compare contrast. So I would read the book and then watch the movie or the show, and I'd tell you how similar they are or how much I liked it, and yeah, 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 basically like that. And I asked people if on my bookstagram, go follow that, um, if they would like to see that, and they said yes, so I'm gonna film that obviously for you guys, and I'm gonna do that as quickly as possible because the show is already out, I believe. So, and then again, I also got this in England is Five Survive because I loved the Good Girls Get to Murder series, it's a five star series for me. I was gonna wait initially until the paperback was like in England. Uh, but I don't really want to wait any longer, so I'm honestly fine with this bad boy. And it's sexy. It's a good, it's a good, like, hardcover, because some hardcovers I just don't like. I think they're disgusting. But this one, I like, so I don't really, I don't hate it. And I've just heard so many good things about it, and I really hope it's another five stars. That was it for today. I know I went through everything quite quickly, but I also didn't want to bore you for too long. If you have any books you still want to see me read in March or any month really, let me know in the comments. Also tell me if you've read any of these books or if you want to read any of these because I also obviously want to see what you guys are busy doing in terms of books. Thank you so much for watching. Um, if you're still watching, comment this emoji and I'll see you when I see you. Bye.